all right have and have not fans now something was a little bit off compared to what usually happens on the uh have and have not facebook page i'm talking about the official one on uh, facebook not mine but i mean the one that's owned by own they usually release maybe one to four 15 to 30 second clips on the facebook page uh, throughout the week before the next have and have not episode comes on uh, at the time of this recording it's about Monday afternoon and there's only one clip but I'm going to be honest here this is the only clip we need to see and it's pretty much about uh, 15 or 20 seconds of Veronica talking to Melissa as she comes down the stairs at her house and basically she says tomorrow we're going to go to the doctor and when we go to the doctor we're going to see why, if you're really pregnant, we're going to see why you aren't showing. And if you're not pregnant, then there's nothing for you to worry about. And Melissa's like, oh, are you threatening me? Let me just say this. First of all, these are the clips. Or let me just put it this way. Forget clips. These are the scenes and the episodes that I love. I love it. And this comes from a person that loves making theories. You know, I come up with these theories then I have to wait and see if it plays out the way I predicted. And then if it does, it's just amazing to see that come to play on the screen. But also, when it's not just myself, but when the community, when the haves and the have not community as a whole has a question that seems to be going unanswered. And then it gets addressed in the show. I feel like that's one of the best feelings. You could chalk it up to, oh, well, Tyler Perry probably heard us and put it in the show. That's not the case necessarily because these episodes were recorded way in advance. But I'm pretty sure he wrote it purposefully that way. So when Melissa's, you know, being all seductive towards um, Mitch and Benny, you're asking, wait, if it's been a couple of months, why, why isn't she showing? But... I guess the main question is, and I'm pretty sure I've already done maybe a couple videos in the past about this. If Melissa isn't pregnant, how come it hasn't been known yet? Ha didn't, did Melissa strike a deal with these doctors somehow behind the scenes to um, pretend she was pregnant so she could stay with Veronica? It, it just doesn't make sense of why she's not pregnant. But the doctors have said... She if you don't believe me, I think the first time an official doctor on screen said that the ba something about Melissa and the baby, it was after Melissa found out her dad died and slit her wrist in the season finale of um, season four, I believe it was. And then she was rushed to the hospital. And I believe that's when uh, the doctor came out because Jeffrey and Veronica were in the waiting room. This was around the time that Wyatt was also in the hospital after he... Uh, after he, oh, excuse me, after he finally got the nerve to call the uh, drug rehabilitation center, and that's where she, uh, he met Anna, and they went to the hospital. But when the doctor came out to talk about the status of Melissa, the first thing, the, well, the only thing that uh, Veronica was talking about, is the baby okay? Is the baby okay? And the doctor says, yeah, she's, yeah, it's fine. So basically, when you have medical professionalists saying that she's pregnant, well, you think she's pregnant. I mean, I still didn't think she was pregnant after she took the pregnancy test uh, way back in season three, was it? When after Amanda's funeral, when she Melissa came over to the Serena Hotel with Candace and Jeffrey. But you have to wonder, is, Ma, is Veronica really going to be taking Melissa to the hospital? Because it seems to me if she's not pregnant, then obviously she's going to die because... Veronica has said time and time again, the only reason I don't get you right now is because you're carrying my grandbaby. So I'm just wondering two things here. Number one, well, three things. Number one, is this just a trap? Because remember, Veronica said a couple episodes ago when Ver uh, Melissa left the hospital, stupid girl doesn't even know when she's being set up. Do you think that it's kind of like, you know, I'm carrying the dog to the park, but I'm really going to go to the vet? Is it one of those scenarios where, Veronica says she's going to take Melissa to the hospital, but she's really carrying her to be institutionalized. Is that the scenario? I mean, that's possible uh, because she didn't make that phone call. Number two, if Melissa does go to the hospital and it turns out she's quote unquote pregnant, I guess the question is, you know, why isn't she showing? Will that be addressed? And number three, if she isn't pregnant, 
how did she get by this long without Veronica knowing when doctors have said time and time again she's pregnant? So that was just a 15 to 20 minute clip. So this video isn't really long. I just want to address this subject, get your thoughts and get your feedback as well. But I am glad that Tyler Perry, again, it's these little nuances that I love about the writing that keeps me intrigued, even when the show isn't as exciting as it used to be in some aspects. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to get the notifications. Because again, once more news leaks out, I'll do more videos.